Here we are in the dashboard area of my demo site and I've installed the Gravity Forms plugin and once installed you'll see over here on the left side a new uh, menu item in your dashboard area and if you hover over that and hit the drop down arrow you'll see a few more options edit new entry settings import export updates and add-ons and help and what we're going to do here is create a new form so I'll click new form And here we're presented with the new form screen. And you'll notice there are some menu items up here at the top. As you go through your form creation, you'll be able to uh, access these. And over here on the right side, you'll see three content areas. One is called uh, standard fields. One is advanced fields, post fields, and pricing fields. And each one of these expands to reveal uh, many different options. So uh, let me zoom back out here. <clears throat> You'll see by default you get this area here called Untitled Form. And this is the main area where you do the main settings for your form. So let's go ahead and, ahead and give this form a title. I'm going to click Edit and you'll see all kinds of options here. And we'll call it Test Contact Form. And you can put in a description. And then when you display this form on your site, you can choose whether to show the title or description. Now, there are some more advanced options here. And uh, we'll go through these uh, in another video. So I'm going to go ahead and save this form. And it gives me some options. Do I want to preview it, set up the email notifications, continue editing, or return to the form list? I'm going to go ahead and return to the form list. And now you'll see that this form is listed here. Once I have additional, you'll see additional forms listed. It gives you the number of views, the number of uh, entries that are, or submissions to the form. And so uh, what I'm going to do here is show you how to put this form on a page, and then we'll continue building the uh, contact form. So we're going to call this form page. And in our editor here, you'll see a new button right up here in the top. And if I hover over this, you'll see it says Add a Gravity Form. So when you click this button, you'll have another window that pops up where you can select the existing forms that you've created. And you can choose, again, to display the title and the description or enable Ajax, which will, when someone submits the form, it will submit on the same page. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that form. And what you'll see it's done here is put in the short code to bring in the form with an ID of 1, the name, <coughs> And because we've told it to display the description, it will do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as a draft page. And we're going to preview this page, open it up in another window. And uh, you'll see the styling on the demo site looks a little bit funny. Uh, but you'll see here that uh, we've got our title and our description here and a submit button. But there's no fields because we haven't made any yet. So let's go back and go to Edit Forms and edit the test contact form. So what I'll want to do here is put in some basic fields <clears throat> and we'll go under here under advanced and we'll plop in a name field. Now all you do is click this and it enters these fields for you. So you can hover over this and edit if you want to change any of this. Maybe we'll say please enter your name and you've got, uh, again, some additional options that we'll go through in, in other videos. Let me go ahead and update that form and click Continue Editing to add a few more fields here. So we've got the name. We probably want an email address. And maybe so they can put in their website. And we'll go ahead and update that form here. And now if we go back to our test page and simply refresh this, you'll see we've got a form ready to go. Well, it looks like I have a capital L there. So I'll go ahead and enter my name, my email address, and I'll leave the website blank. And I'll go ahead and submit that form. And by default, it has a thanks for contacting us. We'll get in touch with you shortly. And you can change uh, that message. You can make this form redirect to another page if you like. Uh, all kinds of options. So that's how to create a basic contact form in Gravity Forms.